Hey everybody, welcome back to Buddy Spirits and Cigars. And we are still at the private venue and enjoying ourselves. We have a beautiful fire in the background. It is a nice cool day. And uh, man, this has just been an amazing trip. We are we're enjoying every bit of it. We don't want to leave. <laughs> so anyway, um, today we are doing a Pendleton Rye. This is a 12 year rye and uh, a product of Canada. So, um, hey, I don't know. It's honey. I thought it was a product of Oregon. Oregon? I, it says product of Canada right on the label, so huh. I don't know. But, 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 we've done some investigating. It is bottled, and it's bottled by Hood River Distilleries. So, I don't know. In Oregon. In Oregon. That's In, the initials? Okay. I don't know. So so somewhere not, between Canada and Oregon. As long as it's <laughs> not Portland, right? They're making really good rye. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. And we have our good friend Sammy on again. Sammy is back with us again. Whoever's star that is, I'm about to dump it. Go ahead. Uh, Sammy's back with us again, and uh, he's going to be in on the rating system, so will he be the new Simon Cow of BSC? We'll find out. Doubt it. Let's get into it. That's an interesting flavor. We'll it talk. keeps coming with the interesting flavor. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. It doesn't smell bad off the nose. It's kind of subtle. Yeah. Yeah. Kind I would of say. Uh, almost what? nostalgic. Gives me slow and low feelings. What's the proof on it? Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember. It is. Elderly brain sucks. 40%, so 80 proof. Okay. 80 proof. Oh, so this is pretty not, low. It's going to be a mild oh, rise. Yeah. It makes me wonder if it's going to be watered down too much. Being only 80 proof. Well, I took a sip of it. First initial was a little thin. <laughs> That's his job. That's the early sip. Well, I already like, did too. But so. you got to get your place on the show, right? I mean, that, that is what it is. I, I did too, man. So. The right. early, early show. Uh, you and I are behind because apparently the two ends, the book ends here. <laughs> They've, well, they I saw him behind. doing it, so I did it. Uh, <laughs> pressure, man. Is it Peer pressure. Is it conformist? Yeah. Whatever, whatever somebody else is doing, I'll do it. I think it's good, though. All right, let's try. That's not much of a review. It is a good flavor. Huh. It's uh, definitely uh, understated, uh, you know. Yeah, it's a mild pour. It doesn't it's reach a, out and just say, Rah! got a little allspice, a little, uh, uh, little butterscotch, maybe. I'm just, here's the deal, man. For a rye, I'm expecting... A punch yeah. in the mouth, kind of. Well, or a rye. I, I definitely no punch. Isn't, and this is not that. This is good well, though. I, this is, is something good. you could just sip on, man. This is, this is a great, this is a great think, sipper, but it's not. But it dangerous. I could drink <laughs> a lot of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is one of those you're sitting by a fire like we are right now, and you're four deep, and you're like, oh god. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Hanging out with your buddy. The next yeah. Sneaks up on yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, bring on a light beer. I'm going to nurse this but for the next four that, hours. Yeah. Okay, I, I agree with you 100%. <laughs> but when somebody says rye, this is not really no. what you're expecting out of a rye. No, no it's very but it light. Is good. But, I don't, very but that's light not a bad rye. thing. No, it's not it's a bad really thing good. at all. Yeah. Not a bad thing at all. It's very light for a rye. It is. I agree. But I mean, we're, you know, that's really good about to like Basil Hayden Dark Rye or something like that. It's got a lot more kick to it. Well, Hayden, it's got yeah. stuff going on too, but really yes. with a high yes. a high rye mash bill, you're really kind of expecting almost kind of kicking the teeth in a sense, versus a, like a weeded bourbon or something right, like that. Right. On the nose though, what do you get off that? Like real uh Everything better than the shooter sip. <laughs> a lot better than whatever that was. <laughs> my lord. Everything, my lord. Hey, every aspect hey, of come this on, man. blows that away. I know. Come on. I kind of get a little come bit of, little bit of uh, real clean, real citrusy. Um, just a really good. A little floral. Guys, I, floral, floral. Thank you. That's the word. Yeah. I'm digging this. I am too. It's good. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. It's probably one of the smoothest rides I, I can I've had. Yeah, usually rye is gonna give you that burn right there that you yeah, look it, for, that you like, right. but this doesn't have that and yeah. that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that there's nothing wrong with that at all. And that uh that's fine with me. I agree with you. I think this you'll be 
you'll be deep into that bottle mm, and really like, fast. Oh, <laughs> hey, now it's getting dangerous. Now, when you get up to go pee is when you end up on the floor. Yeah. Like, what happened? <laughs> Pendleton happened. I was just going to <laughs> Pendleton happened. Pendleton happened. Pendleton. Yeah. So, the, no, those Canadians. 80, there's only 80 proof. <laughs> 70. Or you yeah. say 80. All right. So, you want to start the ratings off? Oh. Well. Okay. You know, I'm not the connoisseur, but I do prefer my rise. Um, yeah. If I was rating this, you know, to the rise, I don't know, but well, as it is, uh, you know, and it's a it's available. I think it's that's the cool thing. It's about light. It. It's very smooth. I love the note on it. It's something that I could just, you know, just just drink. You know, it doesn't have to be a special occasion. It's something that I could just sip on and enjoy. Like I said, probably have more than one. Yep. Um, <laughs> So I'm not going to be as brutal as you guys are sometimes. I think it, uh, the price I, point, before you decide, oh, the yeah. price point is under 50 bucks. Okay. For a 12-year ride. Yeah, for the price point, I'm going to be less brutal than you guys normally are. You guys do a five-point system, right? Yes. Yep. I'm going to give this solid, solid four. Solid just four? because, Just because of the, I don't know, the drinkability, I guess. You're uh, this, this goes down. Of our Simon. You're the opposite of it. No, cool. and that's fine. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, no. I mean, it's that's, nice to have a you can only have one an time. equal and opposite. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin fills that role, and he does an amazing job <laughs> in that role. Well, yeah, sure miss Andy. you, buddy. We wish you were here. You. We do. This is available. I mean, it's it's available. It's not hard to get. It is sub fifty dollars. Twelve year ride, smooth. It's not a high proof. It's only forty. I mean, a uh, eighty proof. So. You're not get. I, I agree with everything that's been said. You're not getting the kick on the back end of the palate, and that kind of that kind of sucks. Rye does. But if you're expecting that out of a rye, which most people do when they hear rye, this is not that. But I agree with you that it's dangerous. <laughs> it's you're going to be halfway in that bottle, sitting by a rye. fire when there's a good breeze, and 65 degrees outside. This yeah. is very drinkable. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And, and it pairs good with a stogie. Yes, it There's does. Not, it's not fighting. It's complimentary. I think it's it's and it's great. We need you guys to talk about the cigar a little bit. Too. We're going to. Yeah, we're going to. Uh, so, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go three and three seventy five. All right. I think it's great. It's a good for. for I started the, the positive point, trend. The good, the <laughs> good ride twelve year. It's all together. It's it's great. It's an everyday ride. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Cam? I think if I were an everyday whiskey, bourbon guy, it'd probably fall higher for me. I'm going to give it a three. Uh, pretty understated, pretty mellow. Um, I feel like I bitch when they're spicy and I bitch when there's nothing. So I It's definitely isn't spicy. I don't know. You do. I don't know what that says about me. Uh, probably says more about me than the drinks that we have, but... <laughs> he just wants an OE or a Colt. Three. Or, yeah. So well, it's not a rain pour or anything. You know, maybe that's it. Maybe we just drink too much of this brown. What if we poured you like a Boone's raspberry? <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know. You said that was I... You gotta go. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> if you did that, the spiral would come out hard. <laughs> it would come out hard now, like a second uh, head on the show. At, at, at our shop, out. we had a mind-blown moment the other day. Oh, yeah. We actually Googled Boone's because someone said Boone's is a malt liquor. And we're like, no, Boone's <laughs> technically is a wine. It's cool. It's a so liquor. we Googled that stuff. <laughs> and on the website, Boone's Farm is a malt liquor. Malt liquor. And that's why uh, I like what it. What the hell? Well, yeah. That's why everybody in Spyro likes it, right? <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> Come on. And these wow. guys are from Oklahoma. I don't know. Man. So. I don't know. They're that's hating good. on their own people. That's <laughs> country. He's just on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Fletch? What say ye? I'd say ye. Well, I generally like a uh, full flavored cigar and I like a more stout pour. So, I'll give it a three and a half. That's fair. Because I do like the flavor. It is a good flavor. Yeah. And I agree with what he, Sammy said about it. It's just, man, it's a great sipper. Yeah, and, I, I think if you wanted like. Just relaxing. You know, I don't necessarily want to get my teeth kicked in if I'm wanting to chill out. Yes, you know what I mean? if you wanted that, if yeah. you wanted something that was just full of body, full of everything, it just kind of punches you. And that's that. That's not this. No, this right. is something to just sip on. Maybe have two, three, five. Yeah. 
whatever, and it goes down very easily, and then yeah. you feel like hell the next morning. Yeah, it's and you're a, okay with it. It's yeah. definitely a good one to five glasses. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, no, it's dangerous. So that's our ratings on Pendleton Rye 12 year, um, 80 proof. Man, I don't really have no complaints I've, I've, other yeah, than if kind of surprised. If you hear a rye, you're really expecting. Mm-hmm. That to get the back end of your palate, and this doesn't do that. But for what it is, man, it's good, yeah. and it's on the shelf. You can go get it, you know. So it's not, it's not highly allocated. Price points good. The price points very good. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's no complaints on that deal. So I'm, uh, I'm all about it. Uh, so would you bring us to smoke, Bubba? A cigar, man. So a little story about this. So I was in a cigar raffle and I won. Oh my God. <laughs> so and I won. I had two he of these. I had two of these cigars in there. And I smoked one and I was like, dude, that's going to be my new every day. I mean, that's, that's legit. But it's not a cigar you can get every day. No. Well, we'll get to that in just a second. <laughs> so I'm like, <laughs> All right, man, and I'm 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 checking this thing out completely, and it's it's a black band, and you can barely, ever so slightly, see a skull and crossbones on the band. It's true. It's hard to see. Ooh. You have to. So look. I'm like, what in the heck is this? So yeah, I, everybody likes a tobacco product with skulls and crossbones. Right. So, so I, I the I messaged, international symbol for this will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I messaged the guy and I said, hey, I said what is that i gotta know i said i have got to try to find some more of those and he said good luck first of all <laughs> and then next he said that is a biaje mystery blend and i said well I've, I've got to look some stuff up on this i got to figure out hey what is this composed of and well mystery blend they really mean it when they say yeah. that so you're kidding they're not telling well we did a what little, we did a little googling behind your back okay and uh fletch found a little bit but still it's still kind of a mystery <laughs> um what'd you find well the vi they have a uh factory in honduras and one in nicaragua apparently uh but i mean what what cigar company that's big doesn't yeah you know and as we know if it's a cigar that comes out of honduras it could be the tobacco could be from anywhere. Now, right. why is that? What, is, what does that mean? Well, Honduras I mean, is it, grows tobacco. They right. grow good tobacco. Right. Yeah. But mainly it's, you know, Nicaragua, Dominican Republic, other parts of the country. Those Dominican Republic and Nicaragua really, I think, have the market cornered in, we want your tobacco. Yeah. Uh, Hondurans make good stuff. And a lot of other countries make good stuff. Uh, but the majority of what you see comes from those two countries. And so you have a Honduran factory. Yes, they're using Honduran tobaccos, but you don't see many Honduran puros, you know? No. I got you. <laughs> okay. And so, Nicaraguan puros, Dominican puros, or there's there's tons of them. But yeah. The Honduran but, puros. But then they say Nicaragua, puros, uh, so it could prevalent. be a Nicaraguan puro. I don't know. What's interesting is, you'll agree with me, as soon as we lit the cigar, right off the foot, I got like this real woody, peppery and you, you said it florally mm-hmm. kind of just punch it just kind of yeah. hit us really fast and like the first four or five puffs of it it was really really complex super complex and then as we kind of got into a little bit that mellowed out a little bit i think right now it's pretty much a medium bodied cigar yeah. but i still get some of I the s- little bit of the spice a little bit yeah so it's i think i definitely like put a little it all spice I absolutely swear to god at one point there was honey i feel like someone yeah, mentioned absolutely. honey i yeah. swear yeah. to god there was and honey just, in this little, thing and it's amazing you know it's just the way they ferment the tobacco i mean what just like they're doing to get that honey in there yeah. well i mean bring that be, more of that shit. well that could be the wrapper this is probably a, this me. is this is probably a maduro wrapper sometimes with a, well, a lot of times a maduro wrapper a really well done one i'm here you get a lot of sugary notes from it sweet notes yeah well that's probably where you're getting the honey from and yeah so i mean guys if you can find this cigar and get some and that's that's more of the story yeah so i talked to him and he's like you know like i said he said good luck and so i was like i gotta find out some stuff on this and there's not much out there but i did find the brand so i started searching and i have to i mean it's very very extensive searching <laughs> <laughs> because everywhere you look 
sold out. Was it like a, a thumb board, pictures and string going everywhere? Dude, yeah. it, it was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> well, and when I get when I get on something and I'm really I'm really all about trying to find some of that stuff, I'll find it eventually. But I I don't want to find it for secondary market prices mm-hmm. either. Because I'm a, I'm a, you know, I, I just, I don't, yeah. I'm not, I don't play that game. I don't like to play that game because I feel that furthers the secondary market pricing. If yeah, you really. participate in that, they're gonna, just going to keep charging it. Pappy Ben Winkle. Boom. So I finally found some, and I'm not saying where, but I finally <laughs> found some. And a bitch. <laughs> so I ordered a bundle of them. Yeah. And that allowed us to have these cigars. Nice, now, beautiful. I did this four years ago. Wow. <laughs> I have had, I uh, smoked a few out of the bundle and I started searching for more, you know. And at some time later, I finally found some more. I ordered another bundle. So I hit the first bundle pretty heavy. Same blend, same year, same everything. So these have been aging for four years in my humidor. So if you want this cigar, it's on the mystery planet in Pluto, which is still a planet. I agree, hundred percent. And it is a that's where you get it. Oh right. man, they said that was a ball of rock and ice. That's <laughs> ball of ice. So they said it, man. It's ball of ice. Yeah, no uh, more Pluto. No, it's a planet. <laughs> Pluto's a planet. <laughs> <laughs> Pluto's a planet. So uh, that's that's the deal with the cigar. And when we took the cellophane off of there, it was brown, brown, like sweet tea. <laughs> and I'm telling you, this is a great cigar. I Fletch have, was smoking the wrapper. I have yes. not had <laughs> a, I've not delicious. had a bad Viaje yet. Not not a no. single one. They've all and, been, all the ones I've had have been legit. Yeah. yeah. And so I commend Viaje. I don't know what this is composed of, but <sighs> man, you hit the nail on the head with this. If you ever have a chance to do it, get one. You won't regret it. So basically we're reviewing a cigar you can't get to hell with you. <laughs> I mean, something like that. But guess what? We got it. Yep. <laughs> so, well, you got it. I mean, you got it. Uh, Out of the cigar shop, I can't get it. Well, they are usually if you if you search for VI, pretty much they're always sold out. Yeah. So it's one of those things that if you find somebody that cares, you have to get that email notification and hope you check your email on time. Yeah. Because they usually sell out within an hour or less. It's awesome, dude. It's crazy. I mean, they're. If they're that good, why would you not try your best as a business to, you know, but maybe they want the money. I, I have, a, I have I another like question. This. I have another question. So, in the history of your show, has the, the guest on your show ever just said to help you guys and, and pour himself another drink? No, uh, no. but uh, you're welcome to do so. This is the one to five I'm not last theory. You know, like works. we said, right it's, it's an every, it's a brother, it's an everyday <laughs> supper, right? Oh, yeah, hey. Get after it. No, no, never what no do we say? Here. One to five glasses. One to five. We're on to five two, glasses. So we're now on on glass number two. <laughs> number two. So yeah. uh, the the accessory we're featuring today is a Zycar cutter, and as you see, this one has Hell been yes. Yes. used like crazy. <laughs> uh, if you guys have been following our channel uh, a lot, I use a V cutter. That is my favorite cut on the cigar. This is the best um, cutter. Well. And so I use this Zycar cutter like crazy, and I like the cut. It'll cut up to a 60 ring gauge cigar, and man. What I like about that cutter it's, is the old slogan, if it, it takes a kick in, it keeps on licking. I mean, if dude, you see the guys who have that lighter, you know they've had it for a while, because it has, it's just etched. It has, the, cutter, the, 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 yeah. the, the, the paint just comes off. The and what's cool about it is, is, it's kind of hard to release it, and they do that on purpose, so it won't open up in your pocket. Right. and cut your fingers and it has a cigar rest in the back yep. and i'm kind of a germ guy and i always like in my back porch to put down i have something to rest my cigar on yeah. a lot of people that's they don't think about that but i love the cigar rest and that's just uh well, i don't know a lot of people drink enough whiskey to kill those germs anyway that's true <laughs> well, if you, one to five I mean, there you go kill them. but you know zycar is a good brand and that's just i think that's one of the best uh v cutters and and it's real heavy too it's bulky it, yeah you man, know what's in your pocket you could fight somebody with that yeah. thing. I yeah. mean, and you could knock them in the head with that and you mm-hmm. have plenty of time to, to <laughs> get out of the way. You know? mm. Of all the shit I don't own and use, that is one of the things that I like the most. <laughs> yes. It does a real good job. It is. It's phenomenal. Um, bad news though, man. I don't make it. Yeah. Zycar 
has been. These sons of bitches. You well, Zycar was it, it was and still is a great company, yeah. but they were bought out by another company, and I it spells doom every time. Well, you know, it's just uh, a lot of other brands are catching on. Uh, you know, you got Visal, you have Lotus, you have Calibri, and uh, so they got some competition now and legitimate competition yeah because you know just six years ago zycar was the brand yes and yeah. they had that lifetime uh, warranty and they still have a lifetime warranty but you have to go onto their website register it and if it breaks you send it in with that. a lot of other competitors you can just swap it out at the shop um well like you know i got this from winston's yeah Shout out to Winston's <laughs> Poppin' Cigar Emporium. Great Shout guys. Out, always. Those guys. I love those guys. <laughs> those guys. But, so I got this there mm -hmm. years ago. And still got it. Still has it. It's a good product. It's still great. Still works. And we use it. Oh, yeah. man. Tremendous. At one point in time, I could come to you and say, hey, Sammy, this broke, dude. I need to. I'd just swap it out if I had to stop. swap it out. Can't do that now. The process has really changed on that. So that might be. A turning point for some people. Well, uh, to me, is not, but you know, to me as a retailer. Um, oh, you're a retailer. Well, whatever the hell I am. Okay. Uh, <laughs> shop, whatever. Uh, <laughs> I always hate it because for for years I said lifetime warranty, and I will swap it out with you. And then one night, middle of the night, email that doesn't apply. You have to mail it in, hmm. and so it kind of made me a uh, made me feel like a liar overnight. Yeah. yeah. Well, I see that. You're, you're, but previous to but this, it's not on you. That, that well, I know, but guys would come in on a Tuesday. Right. I'd tell them lifetime warranty. I'll swap it out. Then they come in on a Wednesday. Well, it wouldn't break that fast, but mm -hmm. but point being, I say nope. That no longer applies, and I kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. Well, and that's what I've been wondering. If that right there were to break, oh, well, Zycar will replace it. You know, Zycar yeah, will replace it, but now it's not as easy as it was yeah. whenever he bought it. You know, and that's yet. But it's still a good cutter. I don't want to. Trash no, one. it really is. It's a great cutter. <laughs> and probably I'll tell you won't what, break. If that one breaks, I'm going to buy another one. <laughs> yeah. Or swap it in. Uh, uh, yeah, or swap it. Yeah. Because um, I like because it's not too deep of a trench. Correct. You have the Visa ones, the old Rocky Patel ones. That that the trench is always it just takes off the entire cap and goes into the cigar. That's shallow, and I like that a little bit more. Yeah, because you don't want to break your cap off. Yeah. And then your cigar start coming well, you know, one thing too if you know it happens your cigar is a little dry use that deep trench it yeah. just kind of just makes it explode. and it could split yeah. your cigar yeah. so and that's another thing is is if you guys have not used a bead cutter uh, you don't really want to press it in there and hold it a lot of pressure on and cut it because you're going to split your cigar yeah um, but it, you can kind of adjust the depth of the cut too you can kind of get it a little shallower and, and hit the cigar too but some of those, the Calibri, I think, is a really deep cut. Yeah, I mean, yeah, really yeah. The, the it's device was on that. Yeah. But that being use, said, yeah. that's what I use. On my, shop. I'm, it, it I'm, does. Yeah. on my back porch, whenever I smoke a cigar, I'm using that cutter. Without Mine's that. red. Well, that's fine. But uh, man, it's good stuff. I'm, I'm a fan. Go hogs. Without Go doubt. hogs. Woo pig. You know yeah, what I'm saying? For sure. That tree out there even we, says it. I know. We live in God's country, but I tell you what. When the trees are saying right. it, you know it's right. Yeah. And that tree right out there says Go hogs. So woo pig. <laughs> it does. That's all we have time for on this episode. Thank you to our guests for joining us. We appreciate it. And we will catch you guys on the next one.